Okay, now I'm back on the other computer. We're back to the Greek again. Looking at the same 32 through 35. Um, anoninomenon, <laughs> as we parsed it. The syllable counts are pretty much the same. I've got some quibbles with them about the some of the clause divisions. But, you know, the syllable counts are still the same as what I had shown before. But I wanted to focus this time on how some of this is shaping up. It's it's got a it's got a deliberate pattern, obviously. You know, the Lord is going to be giving us the first you know panoramic of the church age. So we should expect that you know there's going to be a, a definite pattern that's going to tie the Old Testament to. And so when you add up 119, 168. You know, going from verse 19 again, okay? You add up 119, 168, and again, he's reparsed it, and I don't totally agree with him, but the totals are still okay, so just look at the totals. And 189, that total is 476, which I guess I can't get the... Wow, the recording won't work. See, this is 64 bits. On this computer, it's a 64-bit... Windows 7 and I can't get the I can't get it to work crud alright you're gonna have to take my word for it I was gonna call up the calculator and add it up for you on screen but apparently the screen recorder doesn't work well in 64-bit windows okay so 119 if you were add that with 168 and 189 you would get 476 now 476 is something that Daniel uses but again, I can't show it to you because in 64-bit windows, this recording does not work as well. Daniel 9 deliberately patterns his meter to 476. And his whole meter in Daniel 9, the link to it will be in the video description. I did a whole channel in Vimeo on the Daniel 9 videos. Um, in Daniel 9, he patterns the 476, which is 14 shy of 490. He patterns it to Isaiah 53. And of course, I've already shown you how the Lord is basically doing that also. You know, from the 117, 119 rather, 168 and 189. Okay, so the Lord is basically kind of reminding you of Daniel 9's meter and how Daniel piggybacked on Isaiah 53 and Psalm 90 as well. Because if you were listening to the Lord at the time, you memorized your scripture by syllable counts, and you would be aware of those mathematical relationships. Okay, and he's depending on you to do so when he's doing his own, you know, he's talking off the top of his head, and he's doing the meter while he talks. This was obviously a very common thing because we saw Mary do it in the Magnificat. We saw Paul do it later in Ephesians. And of course we saw Moses do it, but Moses was writing. This is Christ talking. So apparently this was a very common habit. Okay. So when he gets to this point, which I just finished in the last video, the 126, which is also in Isaiah 53, you already know what lessons to draw. See, the 126 is outside of, in addition to, after the 476. The 476 was used by Daniel in his prayer to God in Isaiah 50, in, in Daniel 9, invoking and piggybacking on the promise of the temple down, which was in Isaiah 53. And that's why God's explicit use of 490, which, you know, your typical scholar doesn't understand. God's explicit use of 490 to Daniel in Daniel 9, 24 through 27. That's why God uses the 490. It's because Daniel was using it in his meter when he's praying to God. Now, because the scholars hate the Bible, they don't bother to do the meter properly. They're looking for some kind of stupid Western standard. For Hebrew meter, they've been debating it for 300 freaking years. They don't just count the syllables to let the pattern tell you itself what it is. Okay? 
So that's why I can see it and they can't. You need to be a brain out and count syllables. Doesn't require you have a degree to count syllables. Five-year-old Greek kids learn this. Five-year-old Hebrew kids learn this. Okay? So, the problem is that when you get here to the 126, if you counted your syllables, you would know exactly what Christ means. But if you didn't, you don't know that these previous three paragraphs at 189, 168, and 119 added up to 476 just like Daniel did. So you don't understand where Christ is coming from when he uses the 126 here. He's leading you back to Isaiah 53 and back to Daniel and back to Psalm 90 all at the same time. Now, you know, you get, he, he, he likes to lace it with hints. Tender branch, that's Isaiah 53 too. In my badly pronounced Hebrew. Alright? He's the branch. Everybody knows he's the branch. It's a famous title for Christ we all know even today. Alright? That stands for Israel, and of course in the parable specifically, it's Israel right here, okay? But, he's the head of Israel. Okay? He grew before him like, they, they think they call it sprout or something stupid in the English. Okay? When is a branch tender? Well, see, like, you know, when he was lacerated for our sins. That's pretty tender. You know that summer is near. Summer is the time of war in the in ancient times. The harvest and war. Those are the two things summer was famous for. Okay? And when Anonominon was doing this, he already knew this stuff about Isaiah 53. Okay? So that's why he's using what he's saying here in the green. All right? But what he didn't say, because I don't think any of us noticed it, is that this is adding up to 476 as in Daniel. These three, these three pink numbers. Okay? 119, 168, and 189. So the 126 becomes relevant in the context of 476. Now I'm going to have to come back to that later, but I just wanted to say that much about it now. The next thing I have to cover has to do with the next obvious thing Christ is doing is where he's talking about Noah and the 308. But I'll have to come back to that later because I don't think I can do it on this computer because something's really wrong with the video recording on this computer.